Welcome to SS2K channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button and hit all so that you will be notified regarding the latest updates. The content of this video is taken from available sources such as but not limited to the internet and the author of this video does not represent any person or organization which will be presented. This is presented for educational purposes only and yours truly do not claim the ownership of the uh, content. The topic that will be discussed in the short video presentation is about the Bureau of Immigration or also known as Kawanihan ng Pandarayuhan. It is a topic under the subject Law Enforcement, Organization and Administration. And as usual, I will present the topic in Q&A form with the rationalization. So let us proceed to question number one. It is responsible for the administration and enforcement of immigration, citizenship in alien admission and registration laws in accordance with the provisions of the Philippine Immigration Act of 1940. It also plays a role in uh, the enforcement of Republic Act No. 9208 as amended, also known as the Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003. Letter A, Bureau of Customs. Letter B, Bureau of Immigration. Letter C, Bureau of Fire Protection. And Delta, Bureau of Jail Management and Penology. And the answer for this question is Bravo. That is Bureau of uh, Immigration. Okay? Yan. Pagka goods ang papasok sa Pilipinas, sa uh, ang may uh, katungkulan no, para sa pagpaniningil ng buwis o tax, ngayon pong Bureau of Customs. Pero pagka pagdating po sa mga dayuhan okay, o uh, napapasok ng Pilipinas o kaya naman yung mga Pilipino na palabas ng bansa ang may responsibilidad sa pag-check ng papeles ay yun naman pong Bureau of Immigration na dating kilala sa tawag na Bureau of Immigration and Deportation. No? Uh, the Bureau of Fire Protection is responsible for investigation of cases which involve uh, fire no? and it is also responsible for the implementation of the fire code of the Philippines. The Bureau of Jail Management and Penology is uh, a bureau under the uh, DILG which is responsible for catering uh, uh, inmates who are uh, uh, convicted of uh, crime punishable by not more than uh, three years and they are also responsible for catering uh, detention prisoners okay yeah so let us proceed to question number two what is the parent agency of the bureau of immigration letter a doj letter b dilg letter c dmd and Delta is DOTR. And the answer for this question, ladies and gentlemen, is Alpha. That is the Department of uh, Justice. No? And so it is one of the law enforcement uh, service under the Department of Justice. Okay? And so overview of the uh, Bureau of Immigration. It was formed on January 22, 1940. The headquarters is in Bureau of Immigration Head Office in Magallanes Doctor in Tramuros, Manila, Metro Manila. Jurisdiction, of course, is Philippines. Parent agency is the Department of Justice. Their website is http www.immigration.gov.ph Okay, yan. Kung gusto niyo pong i-search, yung pong mga ibang informasyon tungkol sa Bureau of uh, Immigration. Okay? Ayan. So question number three tayo. No? What is the law which created the Immigration Division forerunner of the Bureau of Immigration under Bureau of Customs? Kasi hindi naman siya agad-agad under ng Department of Justice. No? Dati ang, ang immigration kung saan division pa noon ay under ng Bureau of Customs. Okay? Yan. So, anong batas ang nag-create noon? 
Letter A, Act Number 702. Letter B, Commonwealth Act Number 613. Letter C, Letter of Implementation Number 20. And Delta, Executive Order Number 290. And the answer for this question is Alpha. No? The law which created the Division of uh, Immigration under the Bureau of Customs is Act Number 702. No? The Bureau of Immigration is stand, started as a division of the Bureau of Customs during American regime in 1899. This was pursuant to uh, Act Number 702 of the Philippine Commission. It was appropriate because ship travel and ship cargo were interlinked and hence the office was at the Bureau of Customs. It seems that the government then gave more importance on the entry of goods than monitoring of foreign national coming into the country. Kasi pagkatao kasi, registration ng tao under ng Bureau of Immigration na dati ay Division of Immigration. Pero pagka goods ay under ng Bureau of Customs po yan. No? Yan. The government was more interested in generating custom duties from these goods than in the control and regulation of the arrival and stay of foreigners. The functions of immigration remained under the said bureau until 1937 when it was transferred as a division of the Bureau of Labor. The functions of immigration were transferred in 1937 as a division under the Bureau of Labor. Okay, so from Bureau of Customs napunta sa Bureau of Labor in 1937. This was mainly to respond to the arrival of Chinese nationals who owned and operated trade houses, stores, and restaurants in the country. No? Kaya napunta sa Bureau of Labor. On uh, January 22, 1940, the Second National Assembly of the Philippine Commonwealth enacted Philippine Immigration Act of 1940, that is Commonwealth Act No. 613. Okay, it was signed into law by President of the United States of America on September 3, 1940. At ito na, yung pong pagka-create ng Bureau of Immigration under the Administrative Supervision of the Office of the President. So, na-create yung pong Bureau of Immigration by virtue of Commonwealth Act No. 613 under the Administrative Supervision of Office of President. A year or so later, it became an attached agency of the Department of Justice. Later, its administrative control was returned to the office of the President. When the Pacific War broke out in December uh, 1941, the Bureau, then under the Department of Justice, moved to the believed prison on uh, Ascarada Street, now known as Claro and Recto Avenue. Immediately after the war, the Bureau was transferred near Gate 1 of the South Harbor in Manila, then moved to Building No. 5 uh, at the Customs Bureau at Gate 4. In 1945, in line with the reorganization plan of the government, the Bureau was put under the supervision and control of the Department of Labor again. In 1948, the Bureau was reverted to the jurisdiction of the Department of Justice where it has remained up to the present time. On uh, September 21, 1972, then President Ferdinand E. Marcos proclaimed martial law through General Order No. 1, ordered and decreed the adoption and implementation of the Integrated Reorganization Plan. Hence, the Commission on Reorganization issued a letter of implementation No. 20 dated December 31, 1972, which embodies the plan including, among other things, the change of the name of the office from Bureau of Immigration to Commission of Immigration and Deportation. Okay? So, nung panahon ni Marcos, no? uh, that is by virtue of LOI number 20, dated December 31, 1972, yung pong uh, Bureau of Immigration ay naging Commission on Immigration and Deportation. Uh, this became collegial body and performing both administrative and quasi-judicial function. It is composed of the Commissioner and his two associate commissioners. Letter of Implementation number 20 also abolished the Deportation Board and transferred its function to the Board of 
commissioners who gave them power to undertake deportation cases. The Bureau was given the sole authority to enforce and administer immigration and foreign national registration laws including admission, registration, exclusion and deportation and repatriation of foreign nationals. It also supervised immigration from the Philippines of foreign nationals. On July 25, 1987, President Corazon Siaquino signed Executive Order No. 292, also known as the Administrative Code of 1987. Said order renamed the uh, Office of Bureau of Immigration. So mula po doon sa Commission of uh, uh, Immigration and Deportation ay naging Bureau of Immigration ulit under uh, Executive Order Number 292. No? It continues, however, to perform all functions or powers and functions it had while still a commission. And its head of the office still remains to be called commissioner as provided under the Department of Justice. Okay, yan. So, under pa rin ngayon ng DOJ. Okay, yan po ang short history ng Bureau of Immigration. Question number four. One of the laws which is being implemented by Bureau of Immigration is the Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003. What is this law? Letter A, RA562. Letter B, RA9225. Letter C, RA9139. And Delta, RA9208. And the answer for this question, ladies and gentlemen, is Delta. That is Republic at number 9208. Okay, yan. So, uh, yun po yung mga ibang batas, ano, yung uh, related sa ipinapatupad ng Bureau of Immigration. And then yung Commonwealth Act number 613 or the Philippine Immigration Law of 1940, RA562 or the Alien Registration Act of 1950, no? na kailangan pagkapasok dito sa Pilipinas ng alien, kailangan i-register o mag-register. RA9225, Citizenship Retention and Reacquisition Act of 2003. Yan. And you have revised rules governing Philippine citizenship under Republic Act 9225 and Administrative Order Number 91 Series of 2004, RA9139, Administrative Naturalization Law of 2000, RA9208, Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003 as amended, there was also the IRR on implementing rules and regulation of RA9208 uh, as uh, amended. Okay, Republic Act number 8040 or the Migrant Workers and Overseas Filipinos Act of 1995, RA10022, amendment of RA8040, Presidential Decree number 1034, authorizing the establishment of an offshore banking system in the Philippines. Republic at number 8756, Ombudsman Investment Code of 1987. Administrative Order number 091, Implementing Agency of RA9225, and uh, others. Okay, and then yung bago, ano, yung RA10364, expanding RA9208 uh, uh, no? to eliminate uh, the trafficking in persons. Okay. Yan. And other uh, laws related to uh, the uh, uh, immigration, no? Yan. migration and immigration of uh, person. Palabas at patasok ng bansa, basta yung pong uh, dadaan sa borders, basta tao. Okay. Hawak po yan ng Bureau of Immigration. Okay? Yan. Question number five. To control and regulate movement of person to from and within our country in contributing to national security and development. This is the Bureau of Immigration, letter A, mandate, letter B, vision, letter C, mission, Delta quality policy. And the answer is Charlie, that is their mission. No? Yeah. So, ano nga ba yung mandato or mandate ng Bureau of Immigration? The Bureau of Immigration is principally responsible for administration and enforcement of immigration, citizenship, and alien admission and registration laws in accordance with the provision of the Philippine Immigration Act of 1940. It also plays a role in, in enforcement of RA9208, also known as the Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003. 
as mandatory. Uh, the mission of uh, the organization to control and regulate the movement of persons to, from, and within the country contributing to national security and development. Yun po yung mission nila, no? Control po yung movement, okay? especially uh, border uh, movement ng mga tao, no? The mission, okay, in uh, 2025, to be uh, regionally and internationally recognized as providing excellent, efficient, effective, and innovative immigration service. The quality policy, the Bureau of Immigration is committed to provide uh, Uh, the stakeholders a culture of excellence towards providing internationally recognized immigration services leading to effective, efficient, and innovative border control and management. Okay, so yun po yung tungkol po sa mandate, mission, vision, and quality policy in the Bureau of Immigration. Okay? Yan. So question number six. The following are the uh, Bureau of Immigration for uh, Values, except letter A, integrity, letter uh, B, patriotism, letter C, commitment, and Delta is uh, professionalism. No? And the answer for this uh, question, ladies and gentlemen, is... Uh, Charlie. So, yan po ang hindi kasama sa core values ng uh, Bureau of Immigration. So, ano yung mga core values ng Bureau of Immigration? You have uh, integrity. Okay? Sabi nila, we do what is right even nobody is watching. So, is integrity. Patriotism, Bureau of Immigration officers do everything out of love of the country. Yan. Patriotism. Ang ganda, no? Then, professionalism, The Bureau of Immigration are best at what they do. Yun po, yung kanilang core values. Patriotism, integrity, and professionalism. Okay? Question number seven. Are the following are the general functions of the Bureau of Immigration except... So, except, yun yung tinatanong, ano, general function. Kasi meron silang general function at specific function. Letter A, act as the primary enforcement arm of the Department of Justice and the President of the Philippines in ensuring that all foreigners within its territorial jurisdiction comply with the existing laws. Bravo! Assist local and international law enforcement agencies in securing the tranquility of the state against foreigners whose presence or stay may be deemed threat to national security, public safety, public morals, and public health. Charlie, act as chief repository of all immigration records yeah? uh, pertaining to uh, entry and temporary uh, sojourn within uh, the country you know, or admission, residence, and departure of foreigners in the country. So, dahil nasa kanila yung record, no? sila yung magiging source ng other law enforcement agencies, both international and national law enforcement uh, agencies. Okay, Delta, monitoring of entry and exit of Filipino citizens in compliance with Philippine laws and other legal procedures. And the answer for this question is Delta. No? Okay, because Delta is a specific functions. Yan. So, meaning letter A, B, and C are the general functions of the Bureau of uh, Immigration. Okay? What are their specific functions, ladies and gentlemen? In the discharge of its uh, broad functions, the Bureau, through its Board of Commissioners, exercises administrative and quasi-judicial power over the uh, regulation of the entry or arrival, stay or sojourn, and exit or departure of foreign national in the country. They're also responsible in monitoring uh, of the entry and exit of Filipino citizens in compliance with the Philippine laws and other legal procedures. They're also responsible for the issuance of immigration uh, documents and identification certification on non-immigrant uh, and immigrant and special non-immigrant visas. Issuance of special permits in relation to uh, the enforcement of immigration 
loss no? tulad ng mga permits yeah special study permit and uh, the like re-entry permits yeah no, provisional permit to work or PPW special work permit or SWP no? Uh, responsible for uh, the extension of the stay of temporary visitors and implementation of changes of the status as provided by law. Okay, administrative determination of citizenship and related uh, status. Uh, ano pa? Investigation, hearing, decision and execution of orders pertaining to exclusion, deportation and repatriation of foreign nationals. Implementation of all departure orders, back, blacklist. Watch list, immigration, lookout, bulletin orders, and alert list orders. Cancellation of immigration documents upon violation of immigration laws and procedures. Investigation, arrest and detention of foreigners in violation of immigration regulation and other Philippine laws. They're also responsible in accreditation of the schools and learning institutions that can officially accept and enroll foreign students. And they're also responsible in accreditation of law firms, liaison officers, travel agencies and other individuals and organizations transacting with the Bureau of Immigration. Okay, so yun po yung kanilang mga specific functions. So alam nyo na kung papasok kayo so yun po sa Bureau of Immigration, yun po yung possible functions nila. No? Yan. So pinaka main functions, tatandaan nyo lang, ang main function ng Bureau of Immigration, tinitingnan nila, yung pong mga papeles ng mga dayuhan papasok ng bansa at palabas ng bansa ganun din yung pong mga Filipino citizen palabas at papasok ng Pilipinas okay yan sa so tao po yan pero pagka produkto under yan ang jurisdiction ng Bureau of Customs no? yan a question number 8 what is the head of the uh, Bureau of Immigration so letter A commissioner letter B associate commissioner for operation B. Associate Commissioner for Administration and Delta Head of the different division of the Bureau. No? And the answer for this question, ladies and gentlemen, is Alpha, that is Commissioner. Okay, yeah. So, uh, the uh, Bureau of Immigration is uh, headed by uh, a uh, Commissioner and uh, assisted by two uh, Associate Commissioners, that is for Administration and for operations and uh, and under them are the uh, different divisions and yan po yung administrative division of finance and management division immigration regulation division verification and compliance division management information system division and also intelligence division and yan po pwedeng uh, pumasok ang um, graduate and criminology no? And to gather information about uh, aliens, no? and, uh, overstaying aliens and the like. No? Port Operations Division, Legal Division, and Alien Registration uh, Division. No? Uh, so, uh, if uh, you want the comprehensive details regarding the Bureau of Immigration, ladies and gentlemen, then you can search uh, the information in their website. No? Uh, na ibinigay ko kanina yung po yung uh, www.bureauofimmigration.gov.ph uh, uh, Okay, thank you very much for watching and listening to this short uh, video presentation. I hope that you have learned something. And if you have learned something, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell button and hit all so that you will be updated regarding the latest uploads. Thank you very much and God bless you all.